this uh, month's Strange Tales, uh, the theme is comics and graphic novels because we have just launched our very first graphic novel, The Power Within. The reason that I get asked to talk quite a lot is that I have a PhD in comics. Yes, really. And in my thesis, I said that basically, yes, they're an art of tensions, but also these tensions are resolved in how everyone comes together to create this wonderful product. We have the individual, we have the collective, we have the community, and all of those things make up what's really, really great and wonderful about comics. That's strange. In the Marvel Universe, uh, you'll be happy to know, Hitler is alive and well. His soul and being were transformed by a clone into the hate monger. But it's nice to know, isn't it, that like, even if you're a fascist, you can still be in a comic. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Johnny Attenborough, who is a producer here at Wonderbly. Today I want to talk to you about The Power Within, possibly the first personalised graphic novel in the world. It's not, but it's the sort of, hopefully you'll agree by the end of this, the first good one. And it's all about taking a child, turning them into a superhero. This is uh, every single page in every single possibility of the book. This is a very specific superhero called Red Bee. A normal man by day, but by night had a magic bee that he kept in his belt, whose name was Robert. And if anyone has a bee in their belt called Robert, see me after the class. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name's Ian. Uh, I work at Beano. A lot that's really cool about Beano is it's rebellion, it's mischief, it's kind of subversive take on things, it's a way of looking at the world differently. Dennis the Menace appeared in 1951. He was drawn literally on the back of a fag packet. And so we did this the other week. We sent a cease and desist letter to Jacob Rees Mogg for persistently <laughs> impersonating Walter the Softy. Last strange tale of the night, you guys. In 1989, Batman put out a comic in which the Joker appeared at the United Nations as the representative for Iran. He used this guy so that he could get into the United Nations and then gas bomb it and then obviously Batman saved the day. If that doesn't make you feel uncomfortable, come to next Strange Tales! <laughs>